What's up everybody, this is Mike and today's video will be a quick little tip for all of you guys that are having issues with the latest uh, spherical panoramic mode for the Spark. If you haven't seen it yet, I just made a video about the new mode that we uh, just received from the latest firmware update and the latest DJI Go 4 app update. Now we have a new mode that allows you to take this uh, really cool 360 panoramic shot. Unfortunately, there's been a, a bit of a confusion since um, people are not aware how to save those photos as, um, as a globe uh, and achieve this nice globe effect. As once you save those um, photos after you stitch them in the DJI Go 4 app, they are saved like a regular panorama. You can just um, scroll and you see a 360 panorama, but the image is flat. And if you want to achieve this nice globe effect, you have to use another app. So in today's video, I'll let you know how to do that. It's really easy. You just need to install one app and edit your photo there. Then uh, one minute later, you'll be uh, able to save the picture as the globe and uh, you'll be good to go. You'll be ready to share this cool shot that you've just taken. So how to do it? Let me show you. So first off, you will need to install uh, a new app, which is called Tita or Theta. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But anyway, I will show you on the screen. It's available both for Android and iOS and it's free. So once you install it, then you will be good to go. You just need to open the app and then select the photo that you want to edit. The photo that you want to edit will be the one that you have stitched automatically from the DJI Go 4 app and you just need to open it and then you will see four different options. The first effect is called mirror ball and you will see the effect right away after you select this option. The photo becomes uh, like a globe but uh, kind of like uh, those globes that can tell you the future. I like this effect but it's not exactly what we need for this tutorial. So the next effect is called little planet and this is what we need. Once you press on it, you will immediately see the little planet effect that you can achieve. And then you can zoom the photo in and out until you are um, satisfied with the end result. You also get flat image, which is what you normally get with uh, uh, the automatically stitched photo from the DJI Go 4 app. And then you have straight, which um, is very similar and we don't really need that anyway. just select little planet and you can play with the image uh, until you are completely satisfied with the effect, how it looks. You can zoom in and out, you can rotate the picture and basically just set it up the way you want it to look. Then when you are satisfied with the end result, you can press next and then you will have the option to edit the image further. Uh, you can uh, place some kind of filter, you can edit the color temperature, the highlights, the shadows, the brightness, the saturation, everything you want. And then uh, basically you can play around with the image until you get completely satisfied with how the image looks. Once you're satisfied with how the image looks, you can just press next and select the size of the image. This is very important as it will uh, determine if you get the globe effect or not. Now. Uh, pay close attention, you have to select cropped image, which is on the bottom right corner and not 360 degree image. If you press the 360 degree image, the image will be saved as a flat image, the, the one that you just had before. So just press cropped image, so you basically crop the image that you're seeing on the screen and then you have to select what size you want to use. So you have full size, you have free, so you can um, change the dimensions. You have square, you have two by one, four by three, three by two and 16 by nine. It's up to you. So uh, once you're satisfied, you just press finish. You then confirm and finish again. You can save it to your camera roll and the image is ready. So. That's the tutorial that I want to uh, share with you today, guys. I hope you find it useful. Uh, let me know in the comments if it works for you or not. If you have any issues, I'll be sure to help you out uh, as much as I can. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you very, very soon in my next video. Ciao.